and you think about the differences in styles. What gets your mind to the right place? Is it getting so fired up, putting on loud music, and being ready for a fight, or being nice and relaxed and loose and just having the presence of mind to wrestle within yourself? Girai will be in the red for Iran. One of three Iranian gold medalists at the Tokyo Games in Japan. He was the only Greco-Roman gold for Iran. Has overcome a lot in his young years of wrestling. Just made a huge splash in 2019. Jumping onto the scene where he won the Asian Championship. He was a world U23 title holder at 72 kilos as well that year. Sustained a very serious injury that really put his Olympic hopes in peril. A lot of people thought he would not even make the trip to Tokyo. It was that bad of injury. He battled back. He rehabbed. He got healthy. Missed the world championships in Nur Sultan in order to make sure he had a chance to win a gold in Tokyo. His plan has been laid out beautifully. And he's been the aggressor in this match, and I would say probably in the next 10 to 15 seconds, we're gonna see a passivity call. It'll probably be against Abdullayev as Girai has been controlling the center of the mat. Our official warning Abdullayev for passivity. So passivity, point, and position in parterre, and this is where Garay shines. Open blue, open. Alshuen. Garay quickly snaps to a reverse grip into a stand-up and getting away. So an early test is passed by the Russian, Abdullayev. Beautiful job squaring up in the position, fighting the elbows of Girai and coming up to his feet. Smart to get away from his, from Girai's lifts. As he'll snatch you up and throw you over the top of his head. Hand fighting right now. Both wrestlers trying to get into their ties. You see quite clearly Abdullayev wants the underhooks. That's where he's trying to get to, his comfort position. Just having a tough time getting by the hand defense of the Iranian right now. Right, and with the length of Garai, he does these high dives like you just saw there where he attacks the body, but Abdullayev is able to block with his hands and head and, and not allow Garayi to get into his chest. You have a feeling Abdullayev will get an opportunity to get the parterre point back. That's been it, the passivity point, one nothing. Any surprises through three? You no, know, I mean, great tactics by Abdullayev as he didn't allow Garayi to, to really get to work in that parterre position. And what we've seen throughout the tournament is the wrestler that gets on top. You know, if he doesn't score, uh, we've seen a lot of that, the athletes who get that passivity point in the second period winning the match. But one to zero is, a, is, is really nothing out here. And this next three minutes is going to be exciting. Did you see that Abdullayev had picked up his pace a little bit? He, yes. To close out the I first period? I thought he did. Yeah. Final 30, 35 seconds, although I thought he looked really good. See if that carries over into the second period. He absolutely wants it to, so he gets a chance to get the call. So it's important for him to establish it. And I would say as the official, you want to call this as early as possible. Yes. That way you have the last, you know, two minutes or so or more to get to position. Oh, body lock opportunity and a toss and points for Garay. 
He got into his lock and he made the rush and pay. He did, and he, trans he transitioned right from a body lock. His hands slid up to the head. He threw the headlock for four just before he was going to get warned. Our official had just said, action red, and Garayi took him at his word and did the action and scored the four points. Now it's a serious, serious uphill battle for Abdullah. A fired up contingency of Iranians. A five point deficit. Needs to try to get Parter. Might be tough now though after the offense to get the call. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're the referee, He's gonna. He's gonna go. He's, he's gonna, gonna ask call for it. it. Yep. A challenge flashing in the background as well from Iran. I'm not sure what they would challenge. Sometimes they get excited. They hit the table and they hit the button on accident. And that's that looks what happened. Like is gonna be the case. So he was trying to get the attention by slapping the table. Uh, slapping the the platform there and hit the button on accident. Are you surprised that? did not get second for the passivity. No, I'm not because he's, I would say Girai has been doing the action and he scored the points of the match. So I don't know if you give Abdelayev an opportunity to go to Parterre when we saw Girai getting offensive points. The Russian Wrestling Federation will either get two or four here as Girai ended up on his back. They gave two. Uh, they said Garayi initiated the action and landed on his back, but the pressure was moving forward by Abdullayev. I'm surprised on that, and I think this is the time that a passivity call would be good, but it gets white paddled. Abdullayev down three, 50 seconds to go. The ninth weight to be contested here at the World Championships. One thing for sure, Abdullayev isn't going backwards. He is still coming at the Iranian with the same intensity he did toward the tail end of the first period. Right, and if he continues to back up, we're going to see a caution in two. But they say that Abdullayev grabbed Girai's head without an arm, and that's an offensive foul. They let him back up. Just a quick warning and a whistle blow. Pummeling with the shoulder and the chest. What a three-month stretch for this young man from Iran, Mohammad Reza Garai. A gold in Tokyo, a gold in Oslo, a year to remember for Garai, your world champion. So much pressure on these athletes to win an Olympic title and then come back just weeks later and win a world championship. We've seen it a few times, but it is difficult to get your mind ready for two big weekends like that.